Okay, so let's move to the center of our mats for just a moment. And take a second to sit up tall. So anybody who's been experiencing discomfort in your low back, take a second to check in there right now. So I'm gonna let my legs just relax in my hip socket. And exhale as I come to sit up, feel your low back. Um, both lengthen and then broaden out as the navel pulls in. And you can take your hands to the fronts of your ribs, feeling that long low back, belly pulling toward L5, S1. Now take a big breath, opening your rib cage out and exhale, pull in. So we're gonna open through the ribs and exhale, pull in. Inhale, open, exhale, pull in. And so I invite anybody, if you experience a lot of challenge and know you need a break, just any time throughout the class, come back to this intercostal breathing, opening the ribs, exhale, pulling in. Good, so now you're gonna inhale, take the arms out, let the whole front of your torso here kind of mirror that action as you exhale and then sit yourself up nice and tall, inhale, Exhale, bringing yourself over your rib cage. Wait, no, your rib cage over your legs here. Inhale and exhale all the way up. Good. So now take a reach to one side. Inhale, sit tall. Take a reach to the opposite side, sitting tall. Inhaling up. Exhale back. Good. Inhale to tap. Exhale up. Good, one more time, inhale and exhale. Now take a twist with your rib cage back to the side, inhale, center. Exhale, twist back behind you, opposite direction. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You can squeeze your feet together as you twist to help you kind of anchor your pelvis. Exhale, twist and back. Exhale, twist and back. Let's take your Two arms up for a moment. Exhale, release the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, two arms up. Exhale, release the shoulder blades. Good, inhale, two arms up. And exhale, release, squeeze, bring the knees in. Good, come over the legs like you're gonna row a boat. And then exhale, come back. So we're gonna almost undulate your spine as you move forward. Feel your belly pulling in, connecting. Strong, take a long dive over the legs. Good, and back. One more time here, and then let's pause on the way back. Scoop in at your belly, lightly pulse from your center. Take five, four, three, two, one. Good, take a little twist to the side and back up. Twist, other side and up. So again, staying light here. Again, if you're feeling discomfort in the low back, then lean back just a little less. Maybe stay more upright here as you create these twists. Very nice. Inhale back up. This time reach your arm on that same side all the way back behind you. Inhale and exhale, twist and open. Inhale, exhale, twist and open. Inhale, exhale, twist and open. Inhale, Exhale, twist and open. Now two arms to one side, all the way up. Sweep to the other side. And all the way up, sweeping to the side. Just feeling that coordination of your obliques. Good, reaching the body. Lado y lado. Muy, muy, muy bien. Very nice. So now from here, open once again. Stretch to one side and up other side and up two palms together reach all the way around back through the center reach all the way around and back through the center all the way up fingertips coming to the floor behind you you can set your weight back just a hair and now with one leg i'm going with the right one tap down and up we go let's take five more four and three and two and one, very nice. Opposite leg lift, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go back to that starting leg, raise the opposite hand, and we'll go five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. Hand down, opposite arm up, lift five, four, three, two, one. Good. Two arms down, two feet up, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now, if your back isn't bothering you and you're feeling great, two arms out, lift the legs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Remember, don't throw the legs, lower them. Good. Lift and lower. Three, two, one. Feet together, arms up, arm to the side. So now I'm on my right side. You come to the side that makes sense for you. You're going to let your top arm, top leg lift together lower together. Good. Let's do just a few more here. Take five and four and three and two and one. Good. Now stretch arm and leg back and in. So it's almost like that hand comes right above the foot. Good. And here we go. Let's take eight and seven and six and five and four and three, and two, and one. Good. Open the arm, open the leg, reach and pull back. Reach, pull back. Reach, pull back. Reach, pull back. Taking five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Pause. Set that top leg behind you. Set the top arm behind you. Stretch the hip for just a moment. Woohoo! Anybody listen to that neurosurgeon on um, Fresh Air last night? About, I don't know, he has a new book coming out about building a better brain at any age. And the keys to building a new brain are doing new things and moving. Having a better brain. All right. Now so let's switch sides. And just think about how smart we're making ourselves by doing a sequence we've never done before. All right, lift and lower your top arm down and up. Good. But again, that's why I think movement is really important and not always doing the exact same thing. Really important for keeping the neurons alive and well. Here we go. Now stretch, reach out, hand to foot and back. Hand to foot and back. Good. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good. Now pause. Open the knee. Open the arm. Here you go. So now it's almost like elbow to knee this time. Instead of hand to foot, elbow to knee. Feel the obliques. Take five. And four. And three and two and one very nice top leg reach it back behind you set it down top arm reach it back behind you set it down stretch back to three up to three back to three up to three back to three hold for just a moment really let that hip joint open good and then check it out Foot and foot, we're ready to go down to the mat. Are we ready? Bring your fingertips here for a moment to your toes. Good, and then from here, you're gonna exhale. Just slowly begin to bring yourself down. Let your sternum pause right in front of your two knees and you're gonna let one arm come down, opposite arm. Here we go, five and four and three and two and one good two arms down and up five and four and three and two and one very nice hold the arms stretch reach esperando adelante very very nice and now from here gonna exhale come right back down Sweep one arm to the side, one arm in front of your torso and change, and change, and change, and change, and change. It's like you're alternating. I think it's third position more or less. And we'll go three and two and 
One good pause, two arms out and back. Arms out and back. Arms out and back. Two and one. Very nice. Inhale, sweep. Taking yourself all the way up, reaching your fingertips all the way up. This time we're going to lower to the mat on a 10, on a 9, on an 8, on a 7, bone by bone, cada vertebra, on a 6, on a 5, on a 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause here. Hands to the ankles. Good. Try that five times, reaching out to three. Pulling in to three, reaching out to three, pulling in to three, reaching out to three, pulling in to three, reaching out, pulling in. This time, leave the legs out, lift the head and chest. Hundreds. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two. Three, four, five. Lower the legs. Here we go. A little more. Lift your scapula. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Heels together, toes apart. Lower the legs an inch. Lift the scapula up. Last three. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last time, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, pause, bend the knees, feet to the floor, head to the mat, remember, if you ever fatigue there, just lower your head, bend the knees, soften the knees, that's how you make your hundreds feel better to you, push your feet down, lift the pelvis up, push the feet down as you lower the pelvis down, so the name of the game is really anchor the weight of the body through the feet. And we're going to let the pelvis come down, arms come up. Let's do this two more times. Engaging your glutes, almost massaging your back, right? So again, those of you who are experiencing low back discomfort, stay with this just a hair. Stay with it a little bit more. Good. All right, so now, those of us, you can leave your pelvis on top, and I want you to just lightly lift the sitting bones. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now lightly open and close the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to go balls to heels for 10 and 9 and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one good walk your right foot and your left foot out a hair lift the pelvis up we're going to do that again but now let the left foot come out the right walk it out lift it up good and now from here, slowly let the bones of the back return to the floor, stretch your two legs out, two arms up, and you're gonna lift your head, chest, shoulder blades, all the way up. Give yourself a prop to work on these roll-ups if you need to, or put weights in your hands to help you get down and up. Here we go. We're gonna go down, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, lift it up, three, two, one, remember that energy system, navel in. This time, come take a little stretch forward. And exhale back, three, two, one, good. Make sure you take your gaze to your belly each time. If your head is pointing up, it's gonna be too heavy. Arms up, here we go. Last time, you're gonna come down to the mat. I want you to pause right before your scapula touches the floor. Right leg in. Left leg up and change. Take 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Pause, hands behind the head. 
rotate towards the right thigh. Now change. Now don't throw your torso here side to side. Reach through your rib cage to find that deep twist. Keep your movement close to your body. Here we go. Take six and five and four and three and two and one. Very nice. Pause. Extend the right leg. Hands to your shin bones. Lifting up and change and change and change and change and change and change. Good. Rotate now towards the leg. Five and four and three and two and one. Pause. Left leg to the floor, right leg up, circling the leg out, down and around. Little hip circle. Out, down and around. If your low back is bugging you, bend both knees or pick a knee, bend it. Good, change the direction. Three and two and one. Good, pause. Switch the legs, opposite side. These can be very small circles. Either knee could be bent here to support you in this movement. Good, change the direction, out. Down around, ribs in, belly deep, out, down around, out, down around. Very nice, pause with that leg up. Two legs up now, heels together, toes apart, and you're gonna lift your head and chest. Now the legs and head lower together, lift together. Let's take 10 and nine and eight and seven. Remember, heels together, toes apart. Six and five and four and three and two. Last time and one. Good. Let's pause. Lower the head right back down to the mat. Spread the arms out into a T shape. Corkscrew out, down, around, and up. A la izquierda. You're going to go to the left. Out, down around and up, to the right, around and up, to the left, around and up, last time to the right, around and up, to the left, around and up. Bend the knees, feet to the floor, arms to your side, exhale, allow the pelvis to rise up, draw the shoulder blades together, press the arm bones down, Lift the right leg. And you're going to come down and up with this leg for 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and 6 from a steady pelvis and 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Hold the leg lifted 90 degrees down and up. 10 and 9 and 8 and 7 and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold the leg lifted, lift the sitting bones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, foot to the floor, pelvis rises up. Take a breath, left knee over your hip, tap it down and up. 10, and nine and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Leg up, down, and up for 10, nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, and one hold, sitting bones down and up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, bend the knee, foot to the floor, relift the pelvis. Let those bones return to the mat, knees in over your chest. Rock your back just a moment. Again, anybody experiencing back pain, discomfort, do less. Keep the knee bent. Take breaks.
All right, arms here to your sides. We're gonna work on rollover. So remember, rollover version number one, tailbone up and down, right? Next version, so anybody can work on that 10 times. Um, the next thing you can try is just lifting the pelvis off of the mat, pressing the arms down, toes to the floor, thighs up, and exhale, lowering those bones all the way back down to the floor. Good, you can circle the legs out, down, around, come about to 60 degrees, then exhale, lift the legs up. Make sure you're not looking from side to side. In fact, in the rollover, take your gaze slightly towards your toes. Bones of the back, return to the floor. Circle the legs out, down, around, come to 60 degrees. Exhale to lift, toes down. And then you're gonna slowly, slowly release bones of the back down to the floor. Hands behind the thighs and rock up to a seated position for just a moment. We're gonna go back down to the mat and work on scissors but I just want everybody to practice that little movement up here. So right, left, right, left, right? This is what you'll do with your legs overhead. And then we do the bicycle. It's like this, knee bent and extend, knee bent and extend, right? So you can work on these exercises here on the floor. Good. Bending the back knee or now with me with the pelvis in the air. So inhale, take a breath. And exhale, thighs up, belly deep. Now toes down. And now when you feel firm and stable, walk in your shoulder blades together, hands here to your hips. Let the hips go back to the hands. And then your knees come right over your hips. Extend the two legs. Right leg reaches out, left leg comes forward. And back, and back. And back, and back, good. This time with your right leg, bend it back behind you as you extend the left, change the position of the two legs. Bend, extend, and change. Bend, extend, and change. Good, bend, extend, and change. Last time, bend, extend, changing. Now your two legs together. And you'll bend the knees, lift the pelvis off of the hands, extend the two legs. Now slowly lower the bones of the back down to the floor. Three, two, one. Hands behind the thighs, rocking back up to a seated position for a moment. Check your neck. Right and left, right and left. Good. We're going to go back down, work on the jackknife. So remember for you, Slide the legs to the floor if you need to. Come all the way to the mat. If you just want to work on lifting the legs down and up from the floor, try 10, 10 of these. If you're now ready to think about lifting the legs, lifting the pelvis, and then taking the legs up vertical, and then slowly letting the bones of the back return to the floor down. So remember, you have options here, maybe just lifting and lowering one leg, two legs, good, or low, uh, lifting the legs as you push your hands down, taking the thighs up and lowering five, four, three, two, one. So that slow lower is a great way to build arm strength, upper body strength. Here you go, legs down and exhale up. And then we lift. And then we're going to exhale. Take those bones right back down to the floor. Good. All right. Hands back behind the thighs. Rocking yourself to a seated position once again. Left foot down, right leg up. Take a stretch. Relax your neck. And we're going to go down to the floor here, climbing the tree. And then circling the leg, circling the arms around, hand back to the thigh, and walking yourself up here. Three, two, one. Good. Take a moment, palms underneath you. We're gonna do the other side, but just lift your hips here. 
Good. Pressing the feet into the floor. Exhale. Release. Hands here to your ankle. Opposite one. Lift the leg. Take a stretch. Remember, if your tailbone, low back's tired, just stay right here. Y no pasa nada. All right. So let's come all the way back down. Three and two and one. Arms out to the side. Arms here back behind the thigh. Climbing the leg. Three and two and one. Bending the knee. Two arms up. Hands here underneath your shoulder blades for just a moment. Exhale, lift the pelvis. Good, just taking a breath. Waking up that strength in your back. Good, so now from here, we're gonna bend to take your arms out and take your legs up and pull the belly in as you lower. Three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna work on teaser. Are you ready? Arms to the side, head, chest, scoop the belly, find that strength, and all the way up. Extend the right leg. We're gonna come down three, two, one. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, arms to the sides, lifting. Three, two, one, and change. Here we go. Down three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale, lifting, three, two, one, two legs, two arms, wave to your hands, wave to your feet, here we go, three, two, one, inhale, and exhale from deep in your center, three, two, one, two feet out, big stretch, twist to the side, inhale, Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, two arms underneath you now. And your fingertips facing out. Let's lift the pelvis. Hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, releasing the pelvis comes down your leg closest to the computer screen. Let's open up. And remember, don't force your hips any wider than they go naturally. Exhale, reach towards one leg and up. Reach towards the opposite leg and up. We're gonna reach, waking up your obliques and up. Reach and up, nice and tall. Twist, opposite hand comes to the to the foot, inhale up, exhale, twist, and sit tall, inhale, exhale, twist, and sit tall, good, exhale, twist, and sit tall, one more time, exhale, twist, and sit tall, so now this foot is going to reach to the opposite, and you're going to um, so I've got my left foot on top and my right arm is down. Good. And I'm going to just work a little bit on some uh, lifting my pelvis up from the floor here. So I uh, can't reiterate this enough. Push your feet in to lift your hips. And if you can come up and be steady here, just lightly lift the hips down and up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So this is all about pushing with the feet. Five, four, three, beautiful everybody, two, one, exhale. So we did that with bent knees, slide, reach your weight over towards those feet. It's called a mermaid stretch. You should feel the side of your back. Estirando profundamente, stretching deeply. Now sitting up, you're gonna reach that hand back out, slide the two legs out, and we're gonna try that same little side plank situation with your legs long. So now exhale, come down and up 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, pause, bend the knees, right back down, hug the legs in, and we're gonna try that 
on the other side. So you've got your top foot. So this is your right foot is crossed over your left or your, you know, do an opposite. Lo que tú quieras. Remember this first version, your um, knees are bent and I want you to focus as much as you can on pushing your feet down as you lift the pelvis. Then we're gonna come down and up lightly pushing 10, nine, eight, seven, shouldn't feel like a lot of pressure on your shoulder, five, four, you're so grounded through your feet, three, two, one, good, exhale, release, stretch, reach towards your legs, ah, releasing your hands, so remember, in these sequences where you're putting weights on your, when you're putting weight on your hands, make sure you do a little, just stay connected. Good, so now sitting up, reach that arm back up, slide the two legs out, top hand here, it's gonna come to the hip, and then you're gonna exhale, push and lift. When you feel yourself lifted, you feel yourself grounded through the feet, take 10, nine, eight, seven, lifting the thighs, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, bend the knees. This time, forearms to the mat, and you're gonna bring yourself over. Okay, so everybody stretch your weight back, take a little rest position, lengthening out your low back. And then from here, let's try this. Lift your two knees up, can keep um, your, I'm gonna let my left leg stay bent. I'm gonna kick up with my right. So I'm just going 10 and nine, and really try to send the heel to the sky. Five and four and three and two and one. Beautiful, knee pulls back in. Release, rest position, let your low back stretch. Good, and then from here, once again, pulling that weight in through your abdominal wall, pushing down through the elbows, lift. You're gonna keep the right leg bent as you kick the left leg up. We're gonna go 10, try to find that starting position each time. It's eight and seven and six and five and four and three, steady through your shoulders, two, and one, beautiful. Exhale, two knees down, reach your weight back, big long stretch. Good, extending the arms. And now from here, take your, um, you can take your fingertips slightly wide, bring your hips in, elbows pull to your side body. Let's go 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five, and four, and three, up an inch, down an inch, doesn't have to be huge, two, and one, exhale, lift the hips, down dog, big stretch, columna larga, good, long spine, walk your hands back, right, left, right, inhale, and exhale, find ourselves all the way back up in a standing position. Let me check the time. We're doing okay on time. Could be better. And let me also lift this slightly. Okay. So now I'm going to try some just drill standing up. So if you can see me, let's do this one more time. If you can see me okay-ish, what I want you to do is take your left hand out. Now, without twisting your torso, reach it across your body. And from there, reach your right arm just back behind you. So it's like in line with the hip. And then I want you to reach your dear hand. Obviously, it doesn't have to touch your knee, but I want you to reach your knee up towards the hand. Good. And you're going to just do like five more of these. Five and four. And if you want to lower the arm, if that helps you, let the knee tap the hand. Two and one. Good. Pause. Leave that hand where it is. And now you're going to tap 
your back heel to your hands. So we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale, release. Woo, shake it up. Let's try that on the other side. So remember, your hand reaches across. You should feel a little adduction of the shoulder, but not that your torso is twisting. And then that opposite hand is going to reach back. Take that hand in front of the hip. Exhale, knee to the hip. Take 10, 9, 8, and 7, and 6, and 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and one, very nice. Let that leg come slightly behind you. I'm gonna come slightly forward. Exhale, tapping your hand back or your, what are you doing? You're reaching your heel to your hand. Let's go 10 and nine and eight. Try to really see if you make some contact there. And five, four, three, and two. And one, good, exhale, release, step that in. Now you're gonna reach your right hand, or your right leg back, left arm out. Good, and we're gonna tap and reach out. So let's go 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two, and one. Beautiful. Exhale, step that back in. Opposite side. So now it's my right arm, left leg. I'm going to reach back, pull them in. Take 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, beautiful, step that in. So now let me slide my blanket to the side here for a moment. And now you're gonna bend your knees. Same thing, I'm gonna take my right hand to now my left thigh, but I don't want to twist my torso and keep my torso upright. And then exhale, reach my right leg behind me, down and up, 10, and nine with the leg, eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Exhale, step that foot in, hands to the opposite leg. Good, do a little cat cow if your back's bugging you. Don't even do this if you don't need to. Good, hands on the thigh, you're not dropping your weight. You're pushing away, so you've created a point of contact. Opposite leg out. Oop, I'm gonna step forward so, so as to not kick yoga props. And exhale, lift. You're gonna come down and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful, step that leg in. Exhale, take a little forward bend here. And then let's stand it up and find your besas. Pick up your weights. And now move to the center of your mat. Good, bring your feet together. Weights here right in front of the two thighs. Arms up, exhale, lift the heels. Here we go, let's go 10. And nine, and eight, and seven. So your heels come up as the weights move down. And it's five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold, soften the knees, lightly tap down and up. So just bend and straighten for 10, nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, let that come down. Now bend the two knees, reach the weights back, 10, reach nine, 
reach eight, don't swing the arms. Slow, good. Five, so when you get back there, hold for a second and back. Hold and slowly back. Hold, slowly back. Hold, slowly back. Hold, slowly back, good. Soften your elbows. Exhale, weights to the side, 10. So remember, slight hold out here. Slowly come back. Out, hold, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three. Is your spine long? What are you doing with here? What's, what are you doing down there? Two, and one. Excellent, pause. Stand it tall, heels together, toes apart. So now bend the knees, weights overhead. Small bend of the knee, up and back, up and back. Your elbows can stop right in front of your shoulders. Here we go, take five and four and three and two and one good hold down here. Lift your two heels, bend from the knees. Take 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, soften. Let your knees lengthen, heels to the floor, and now your forearms are gonna fold behind you. Pull your belly in, take 10 and nine. So really feel. Your zip, your center zip in, lengthen through the ribs, down with the heels. Go down with the sitting bones, engagement through the legs, five and four and three and two and one. Excellent, bringing your weights in in front of your pecho for a moment. Now step your two weights out, oh, those are called feet. Your feet, you're gonna step out. We're gonna exhale and then straighten down and up. Good. Good, just take like five more here. Good. Remember, tailbone goes straight down, knees go straight out to the sides. Two, one, hold. Elbows bent, tap the weight. Elbows bent, tap the weights. 10 and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold with the weight spent. One arm comes across the body and up. Opposite arm crosses your body and up. Cruzamos y arriba. Cruzamos y arriba, cruzamos and up. Last time, good. Soften the knees a little more, open the elbows. So you're just gonna go 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Excellent, soften your um, self, bring yourself down. And I want you to try just one more thing. So take your weights to the floor, your fingertips out, lift your heels. And then once again, you're just gonna lightly bend and straighten the knees for 10, nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent. Turn your 10 toes, let them face forward. Lift your hips, lift your low back. Melt the top of your head over, you know, and then you're just gonna release your neck totally, fully, completamente. Good, let me see how we are. Okay. Good, and then from here, Reach one hand all the way across your body. And you're gonna take that hand to the ankle, fold a little bit and both elbows. Good. 
good. Exhale, take that arm and you're gonna stretch, reach. Fold it, both elbows and open. Good, inhale. Now try this. So I've got two hands out. I'm gonna take my right foot to my left, back behind it, and then bend my two knees and come to the floor. So we just, if it's okay with you, um, we're gonna do some gentle stretching here on the floor, but right before we do, I just wanted us to practice the side bend real quick while we're still nice and warmed up. So you're gonna, I said side bend, but I meant side twist. So everybody pull your shoulder blades together behind the back, push with your bottom arm. So feel yourself here. And then if you'd like, push your feet down, lifting up, coming into a side plank, then reach your hand just to your knee and back. Hand to the knee and back. One more time, hand to the knee and back and all the way up. Soften the knees. Slow, steady, easy, gentle on your joints. Reach across your body, hands reach towards your feet. Enjoy a little stretch. Two arms coming up. Switch the position of your two feet. And then same thing, we're gonna try this on the other side. So the full expression of this side bend is that your hand touches your ankle but we're gonna get there slowly. So if you can just come up into the side plank, then reach, really feel that deep scoop from your abdomen. I think we're in, we're gonna build towards getting towards our ankles safely. So push with your bottom hand. Remember, wake up that arm, wake up those muscles, and then push with your feet to lift up. Find a beautiful side plank, and then just reach hand to your knee, and up hand to the knee hips lift so a big part of what's happening is that pushing down with the feet good two and last time good now pause soften the knees as you come down and exhale stretch and reach toward your shins big breath so even let your neck go here And then inhale, let's bring ourselves back to us just to see the position where we were at the beginning of class. Hands on your ribs. Let's take five intercostal, intercostal breaths together. So think inhale, opening the ribs, exhale, knitting your center. Inhale, open, exhale in. Inhale, open, exhale, knitting in. Last time, inhale, and exhale. All right, that's our practice today. Thank you, everybody. Muy bien, bien hecho. Ya está. Um,